Spidey. Okay, so this is a day late and it was just, I just had to let the comments keep rolling in because this is probably the most triggered. I think I've seen people watching one of our videos um, in some time triggered in both good and like constructive. I'll use the word constructive. No one got nasty and I really appreciate that. So for those of you that don't know, this is our What If series. And I'm going to start to make it a little more known, um, even in the POV release. So a lot of people are like, well, how come you don't do this? How come you don't do that? So the reason I release a kind of like music video at first is to get a reaction. So the reason we want a reaction is I like those little comments at the beginning of the video that I do. Um, and I like to see what people have to say about it. Um, so I'm totally okay with people dragging me in the comments about this will never happen. What are you thinking? Blah, blah, blah. That's totally fine. I definitely want to um, see what people think when we release this coaster. So it's this one was probably my favorite one to date so far. The reaction has been absolutely amazing. And the comment section, I mean, if you haven't, Already go back to that video and look at the comment section. It's truly funny. So first question answered is where would this be located? Um, it would obviously be located next to Bizarro in between Bizarro and the um, Safari. Um, a lot of people were saying that or not a lot. There were a few people saying that they actually can't use the land on the other side of the lake. I don't know if that's true. If anyone knows for sure if that's true or not. Um, feel free to actually comment down below or uh, link me to a source that actually lists that because that is Great Adventure's property and I can't see Great Adventure not being able to use um, their property to build a coaster. I'll use Canada's Wonderland as an example. Canada's Wonderland has like a little pond on their property and that is actually a protected plot of land as well for an ecosystem and they too are still allowed to build in that pond um, as long as they get approval. So I would assume even if there is something protecting an ecosystem back there um, at Great Adventure or in New Jersey, that they would also be able to file permits and get permission to build on that plot of land. Nonetheless, um, a lot of people also pointed out that there are a lot of trees, and I would like to point out that there were a lot of trees for Kings Island's Giga as well. So I just wanted to quickly put that to rest because some people were commenting on that. Now, the majority of comments were talking about this whole Cap X idea. Um, does Six Flags have the funds, or will Six Flags put the funds aside for one park to build a 30 million plus? project and the answer is most likely no it, it, that's not the case this video isn't me arguing six legs is going to randomly put 30 million dollars aside um and this would probably be like 35 million dollars at this current um time in uh history when things are a lot more expensive but nonetheless um there's other avenues that we were looking down when we said hmm, could great adventure ever get a giga coaster and for those of you that noticed um in our uh intro uh, to the video, we actually put Great Adventure and Safari and removed the Six Flags from the logo. And this was one of the avenues that we were going down. So Six Flags, for a lot of you that have been paying attention, has been, I don't want to use the word struggling because they've stopped and they've balanced out and there's no signs of an evident struggle or failure um, in the near future. But there are definitely signs of, hey, if a recession were to hit this year, like a lot of people and banks are predicting, um, would Six Flags survive? And my personal opinion, again, this is an opinion, Six Flags is not recession proof and they would not survive. And we would see um, similar things to what we saw in the past. And I feel like Cedar Fair would swoop in with this money that they've been putting aside. So for those of you that don't know, Cedar Fair has been putting around $253 million to be exact into a savings account um, to purchase future projects down the road is the way that they were wording it. It's money set aside um, to acquire um, future properties down the line. Um, so we know that uh, Cedar Fair is saving up for that. And uh, we know that Six Flags perhaps uh, could be selling properties down the road if a recession were to happen. And again, this is all assumptions. This is not facts. Um, but if that were to happen, I think that the Texas Parks um, Great Adventure and Great America would be the first parks that Cedar Fair would go after in the chain. A lot of people would say Magic Mountain. I don't necessarily think that. I can't see them switching that park over into a Cedar Fair park successfully. There's just too much going on there. And I don't know if Cedar Fair would be like totally willing. But again, if, if after those parks that I just listed, Magic Mountain would be next in the line. Um, but nonetheless, if Cedar Fair were to purchase Great Adventure, I think one of the first additions that they would install at this park would obviously be a Giga Coaster. 
And I think with the uh, time frame, this being so far in the future, not in the near future, they would probably break um, Puri's records and they'd build something pretty awesome like this. Again, it is pretty short. So it is around Orion's length. Um, I think it's a little longer than Orion, but we didn't make it too long. So we want it to be realistic. Um, but nonetheless, again, to answer everyone's question, correct. Under Six Flags' current Cap X, um, this isn't in their budget, nor would they ever spend $30 million. They do have a new CEO, so you do got to um, realize that three years from now, we might start seeing different investments coming out of Six Flags. I mean, even look at Cedar Fair. They're changing up how they do investments as well. Every park in the chain is going to be getting something new every year now. So maybe we'll see a change at Six Flags as well. Nonetheless, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you have any further questions, comment down below and I'll try and answer them to the best of my ability. Um, with the over-the-shoulder restraints argument, I we can't find anything online. So if you have a link to an actual valid source, please link it down below because I'd like to learn more about that because we looked up on the site and we couldn't find anything. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you haven't, and comment down below. Have a good one, guys. Bye.